Life Flight Network plays a really important role in caring for our communities. We're locally based uh, all across the Pacific Northwest and Intermountain West. Obviously, you know, when a catastrophe strikes, and we deal with catastrophe every day, that's our job is to go out and we're going to go see people often on maybe one of their worst days. And we're oftentimes the only link that uh, people have to getting definitive care. Um, and we're there and we, and we can respond rapidly with expert quality clinical care. But the biggest, most important thing is, is that trust with our partners and trust that when we say we're coming, we're coming. Life Flight exists to save lives. That's what we're there for and that's what we're committed to. Our first flight was February 28, 1978. Um, and we have a proud history and you know, over time we've adapted and, and grown. We used to be based at the hospital um, and we moved out into the community and that allows us to be closer to the patients when they're in their time of need. And then we've continued to expand and, and respond to growing need. You know, people move and, and they live in further and further out areas and they need high quality clinical care rapidly. And so that's why we're out in the communities now. From, you know, humble beginnings as one Alouette helicopter at, uh, you know, based at Legacy Emanuel Hospital. Life Flight Network exists to bring the highest level of care in a critical nature to our communities. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, our crews are, are ready to respond. And that could be uh, within our communication center, that is our nurses and paramedics and respiratory therapists, EMTs that are standing shift, uh, our pilots, our mechanics. Uh, everything we do goes into ensuring that uh, at any moment in time we can answer the call. So the approach we take to safety is primarily proactive and we're trying to get to a predictive nature of safety. So what we consider the highest level of safety is established now. We look at our past with an eye towards the future. So we do a tremendous amount of analysis here with our flight data monitoring program, which is pretty advanced for uh, what a lot of EMS providers would normally have. They are organized, proficient, fantastic individuals that are always ready to perform at the highest level. And I mean that by they're seeking out knowledge and they're wanting to be the best that they can be. It's inclusive, it's interactive. In fact, we demand that of our employees. Silence is not an option here. Everyone has to speak out and be part of that safety culture. The folks that are doing the job every single day and then what they bring back to us. Always practicing, always training, always asking how can I be better because this is going to make a life or death difference for my patient. We make sure that when we're giving our partners ETAs, we include the lift time and that flight time. They need to make good decisions on whether to activate us or someone else and so giving honest, accurate ETAs, including that lift time, helps them make better decisions for their patients. I think they're the best in our region and I have two young boys and I would feel more than confident to have any one of the staff taking care of them. We have extremely well-trained folks that work here, including aviation, clinical. Everyone in the organization is dedicated to that and they all point towards that common goal. We've seen uh, a lot of expansion with Life Flight because of that dedication, what we have brought to the communities, and we see a demand from the communities. Uh, and to me, that's very special when people are asking for us to be there for them. Everybody at our organization are operating at a high level and are at the peak of their careers. Um, and so to be prepared takes a significant investment in time, resources, and in finding the right people. Ultimately, we're a people-driven business and, and organization, and, and we're there to support the people that we live and work with. 
So we hire the most experienced clinicians and provide them with the highest level of training. We were able to see the passion in all those clinicians and, and aviators and maintainers' eyes. There would be no question about which organization is the best in this industry. It's driven by the top from a culture of getting everyone involved, but it's everyone at the line level that's doing the job day to day. We should be the first call that hospitals or first responders make anytime they need an air medical provider. We're committed to safety, we're committed to quality, and we're committed to being there and being available when we're needed. And we will do everything we can to provide the best quality care for your patients.